Tonight, it's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Houston Texans, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, what a run they've had in Houston. It's a team that seemingly has been knocking on the door the last decade or so, winning division title after division title. But this year, it finally clicked, and here they are as AFC champs. And I think it's fitting what you talked about knocking on the door, because you remember in the 70s, they talked about knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and finally they said they're going to kick that door down and get to the Super Bowl, and they never did. And this city, they're used to hosting Super Bowls. They've had three of them in the past, but neither the Oilers nor the Texans ever got there before. This is an exciting time for their fan base. Meanwhile, for the Carolina Panthers, they make their third visit to the Super Bowl in team history. Let's go back to Super Bowl 38 in Houston, 2004. Hung tight with the Patriots, lost by a field goal. Adam Vinatieri putting it through the pipes. They lose 32-29. Second visit wasn't quite as close. That was Super Bowl 50 in Santa Clara, and the Broncos just ran over on defense in that one. That was a tough loss for them, 24-10. But this team, they have a different look to them. This team looks like that they are focused, composed, and ready to win. This is David Johnson, the former All-Pro. Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And down right around the 37. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Back. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. They'll roll him out right. He'll try and run it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Coming up on second and seven. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 28. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent gain. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Seven yards the pickup. First down, Houston. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. zone now. Watson. Open man. The tight end fouls. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Three yards the game there. Second down. 
Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Watson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Here's Watson. And he finds Stills complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing has been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field strengths has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Tonight, it's Madden NFL Football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Miami Dolphins taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and for the Dolphins CD what a last 12 months it has been you know this was a team that lost their first four games of 2019 by a combined 123 to 26 they were jettisoning players left and right but apparently they had the right game plan all along and now they are champions of the AFC in 2020 yeah they had to stay the course on that one didn't they when they were going through all those bumps you had to wonder if they had the right plan and they did. And remember, big picture, this is one of the proud franchises of the NFL. It's hard to believe that their last Super Bowl trip prior to this one was in 1985 when they lost to the Niners in Super Bowl 19. They have won twice. Then we talk about the Super Bowl now. They did win it back-to-back -back years. But that's Super Bowl 7 and 8 in 1973 and 74. Meanwhile, the Packers are back as they look to bring another Super Bowl title home to a place aptly named Title Town. And they're looking for their fifth win, which would tie them with the Cowboys and 49ers for second all time. They did last win it in 2011. That was Super Bowl 45. Aaron Rodgers leading them 
over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But when you talk about titles, and you mentioned Title Town, they've won 13 championships overall when you count all the NFL titles prior to the Super Bowl era as well. So this is a town that's used to winning, and they expect to win this one as well. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. It's a That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He was brought down at the red and all things considered. They have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And Adams has it, complete. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. that They want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Complete. This is Lewis. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now it's second and nine. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Jones has it. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball, because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. On fourth down, here's Green Bay's third-year punter, J.K. Scott. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The Dolphins set to go now, and their veteran quarterback leading him onto the field. 
He's played a lot of places. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick is the kind of guy you want on your team in every situation, whether you want him to be your starter, whether you want him to bridge and help a rookie out like Tua Tunga Vailoa. It doesn't matter. He can fit every spot you're looking for. He's in the second year of a two-year deal with five and eight, 13 starts last year with 20 touchdown passes. And anytime he's on the field, there could be some Fitz magic. Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant, but it'll be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Fitzpatrick. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On play action, Fitzpatrick. He's going to look deep down the field. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. If you're a head coach and Ryan Fitzpatrick is your starting quarterback, you can't be faint of heart because his fearlessness, it comes at a price. In his last two years, Fitzpatrick has 20 starts and 25 interceptions thrown. He can make the big plays, and he can also turn it over. Now comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keeps your defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well done. A, B, and C. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards is the pick up there in the drive starting very nicely. First down. First down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Jones, the ball carrier. All right, Brand, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And five at the 42-yard line. First down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandlick. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. 